So leaving from EastEnders, your political career and uh, the creation of Stonewall by yourself, Ian McKellen and others. Let's just talk a little bit about the origins of that. Well, so w- when I was in EastEnders, the, uh, the government introduced the first anti-lesbian uh, and gay law in 100 years. And I knew I had to be on the march and the campaign against it. Um, you bunked off, didn't you? I bunked off. June Brown got <laughs> me, um, you know, the, the way it happened, you'll have to read in the book, but June <laughs> Brown got me the time off. And I bunked off and went on this march. And it was the start of the campaign against this uh, Section 28, as it was called, Clause 28. Um, Marches all over the country, wonderful marches. Uh, And we made all the right arguments, but we lost the battle and it went through. And I remember going to see Ian and saying, we've got this momentum now. We've got to set up an organisation so that another law like this doesn't happen. And that was the day we sat down and formed the idea for Stonewall, which would campaign for legal equality and social justice, yeah. uh, then for lesbians, gay men and bisexuals. And it's widened it so that it's, that includes uh, transsexuals and intersex. Uh, and I'm proud that we do include transsexuals and intersex. Um, and we began campaigning, winning the arguments, political arguments, but at the same time also taking cases through the courts and then to the European Court of mm. Human Rights where we won... Uh, the judgment on an equal age of consent mm-hmm. and equally uh, on ending the ban on people serving in the military. Yes, of course. Uh, 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 and, and others, we lost a couple of cases. But, mm. but it, was a, it, it was a very good time uh, to set up a, a, a privately funded organisation that had a single remit, which was to achieve equality. And, um, and we're nearly there.